see how lava is boiling here, right here, look. Similar phenomenon is happening here, but in a larger scale. You see, it's boiling in many places. I don't know how to call it boiling or um, degassing, or this must be some scientific name for this. Uh, I'm not sure how to call it, but this is what is happening. You see, on a minor scale. same thing is happening on a larger scale too it's already past three o'clock in the night and started to get windy Masses of lava are moving south. See, and people are here on the hill uh, in Geldingadalur. So late in the night, and still there are many people. People are taking photographs. Well, unique photographs, because you can't take such selfies <laughs> anywhere, not, not in many places, not maybe once in a lifetime, I guess, that's unique photos. It's pretty dark on the surface, on the top, the topping is dark because lava... Um, cools down immediately on the top and but the the deeper you go the hotter it is you know and it's all moving with the dark on the top with the chilly top you know big big lava lake here in Keldingadalur with uh, lots of smokes you see and wind driving those smokes around Winds are intensifying, getting stronger and stronger. There's no chance to film without wind protection. It would be just terrible noise, but I'm using wind protection and I hope uh, it helps. This is Fagrados Fatli Mountain. You remember last time I climbed at the top of it over there? Uh, when there was no eruption, but who would expect just a few days later we will have this lava flood here with this fountain is totally unpredictable. <coughs> it's irritating this road, you know, so there must be pollution here. But nobody wearing masks, uh, I mean, gas protection masks, I don't see anybody. Alright, so we will be moving slowly. I wish you all the best. Greetings from us and one more look at the volcano. See the volcano itself, uh, how it looks today. God bless. Talk to you later.